Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I'm going to show you how to install GarageBand on your old MacBook. This 2010 MacBook is running Mac OS High Sierra, which is Mac OS 10. Let's see what happened if I try to install the number one top free app, GarageBand. It's right here, GarageBand. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click get install app. Oh, look at this guys. We could not complete your purchase. GarageBand can be installed on Macintosh HD because Mac OS version 12.3 or later is required. Mac OS 12 is Monterey. You can only install Monterey on MacBooks that are 2015 and up. So this 2010 is not gonna qualify. But I still want to use GarageBand. So how can I install GarageBand on an old MacBook? I'm gonna show you right now, guys. All you need is an Apple ID that is being logged in to a computer which is 2015 and up. So once you're signing with that Apple ID to one of these computers compatible with Monterey and you have download GarageBand, then you can go to the old computer, log in with the same Apple ID and download the latest compatible version with that computer. All right, so we are waiting for GarageBand to be downloaded on this 2019 MacBook Air. And once we finish, we're gonna log in with the same Apple ID to our old computer. Okay, so it's done, guys. You see here, open, it's done. And you're gonna see that this is GarageBand version 10.4.7, okay? Now, we are finished with this. Now, it's time to go to the other MacBook. And you click get, I want to get it, right? I want to use it, install app. You get excited because you have the green button. And then you have this message. We could not complete your purchase. GarageBands can be installed on a Macintosh HD because Mac OS version 12.3 or later is required. So this is the magic. Go to purchase here on the App Store. Go to purchase. In order to go to purchase, you need to sign in. And guess what? You're going to sign in with the same Apple ID you use on the other computer, which is... Guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I can eat. If I don't eat, I cannot do videos for you. Thank you. Sign in, allowed, and this is the code I need, 120-861. Look at this, GarageBand. Since I use the same Apple ID to download GarageBand on a newer computer, that gives me the right to use it on another computer. So that's how it works, guys. You just need the Apple ID signing in and download GarageBand on a newer computer. It can be yours. It can be a friend's computer. It doesn't matter. You don't have to own it. You just have to sign in with your Apple ID on a newer computer, 2015 and up, all right? So then you go to purchase and then you click install. I was checking Reddit and a lot of people say, oh, that trick doesn't work anymore. But look, I'm showing you that it works. Download an older version of GarageBand. The current version requires macOS 12.3 or later, that means Monterey, but you can download the last compatible version. Okay, so we're gonna click download. So pretty much one gigabyte. We're gonna go to the launch pad. And here is guys, GarageBand. And looks like it's working guys. I'm gonna choose this create and that's it now let's check the version that we have here this is version 10.3.5 okay and the latest is 10.4.7 and that's it guys that's how you download and install GarageBand on an old computer this is a MacBook with High Sierra version 10.14.6 mid 2010 core dual 4 of RAM Nvidia and only 250 of hard drive Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. In that way, you are helping me. If you don't subscribe, you don't help me. So if this was helpful for you, help me help you by subscribing to my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you on my next video. Look at this. Two garage bands. The old one and the new one. Garage band 10.3.5. Garage band 10.4.7. Which is better? Of course, this one. All right, guys. Bye.